Welcome to Week 5, List C. This week we are going to learn how to spell all the months of the year, plus a couple other words. Please set up your paper with your name and date in the upper right-hand corner. There are 17 words in this list. Number 1, January. Four syllables. January is the first month of the year. In this word, the first syllable is accented. So we say January, but we think to spell j, a, n, u, a, r. Because the last syllable is not accented, the last sound is, we think to spell I, because English words do not end in I, we can use the Y as a substitute. U and A are both saying U and A at the end of their syllables. Spell out loud with me, January, J-A-N-U-A-R-Y, January. Please write and mark January in your notebook. Number two, February. February is the second month of the year. Just like January, February's first syllable is accented, which means that we say February, we think to spell F-E-B-R-U-A-R-E. Uh, Spell out loud with me. February. F E B R U A R Y. February. U and A are, also are again saying their U and A at the end of a syllable. Please write and mark February in your notebook. Number three. March. One syllable. The band will march in the parade is one way to think about the word but it is also the third month in the year. Think to spell mm. R CH. Remember we're capitalizing all of our months because they're all proper nouns. Spell out loud with me. March, M-A-R-C-H, March. Please write and mark March in your notebook. Number four, April, two syllables. April is before May and after March. Think to spell A, P, R, E, O. Spell April out loud. A P R I L. April. Please write and mark April in your notebook. And I'm going to look for a better black marker so you can still see what I'm writing. Number five, May. May is the fifth month of the year. Think to spell mm, A. Spell May out loud. May, M-A-Y. Please write and mark May in your notebook.
Number six, June. The sixth month of the year is June. Think to spell J U N. June has a silent E, spelled June out loud. June, J-U-N-E. Please write and mark June in your notebook. Number seven, July, two syllables. July is the seventh month of the year. We think to spell J-U-L-I. Spell out loud with me. J U L Y, July. U is saying U at the end of a syllable. Y is saying its third sound. Please write and mark July in your notebook. Number eight, August, two syllables. August is the eighth month of the year. We think to spell AUG. Spell out loud, August, A-U-G-U-S-T, August. Please write and mark August in your notebook. Number nine, September. September has three syllables. We think to spell S-E-P-T-E-M-B-R. Spell out loud with me. September. S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R. September. Please write and mark September in your notebook. Number 10. October. Three syllables. October is the 10th month of the year. Think to spell. A -k -t -o O is saying O at the end of a syllable. All of the burr months end in er as in her. Spell out loud with me. October. O C. T-O-B-E-R, October. Please write and mark October in your notebook. Number 11, November. Three syllables. November is the 11th month of the year and also the month that has Thanksgiving. Think to spell N-O-V-E-M-B-E-R. Spell out loud with me. November. N O V E M B E R. November. Please write and mark November in your notebook. 
And the last but not least month of the year, December, three syllables. Think to spell d e s e m b r. December. Spell out loud with me. December, D E C E M B E R, December. C is saying S before E, I, or Y. Number 13, library. Three syllables. He went to the library to check out a book. First syllable, L. I. Second syllable, B, R, A. Third syllable, R, E. Again, we say library, but the first syllable is emphasized and the rest are unaccented. So we can think to spell that last syllable, R, E. Spell out loud with me. Library. L I B R A R Y. Library. A. I and A are saying I and A at the end of a syllable. Please write and mark library in your notebook. Number 14. Number 14 and number 15 are actually two words each, but they're used very often in English, so we're going to learn how to spell them. The first the first phrase is a lot. It's two words. There were a lot of people in my large class. First word is a, second word is lot. Lots. Sometimes we use these so often together that people actually forget their two words and write them together. But they're actually two words. A lot. A space L O T. A lot. Please write a lot in your notebook. The next phrase is all right. The book was all right, but not her best. All right means average or mediocre. Two words. The first word is all. Ah, uh, all. Second word is right. R I. Spell all right out loud with me. A L L space R I G H T. The A is saying its third sound. Please write and mark all right in your notebook. The next two words are homophones, two words that sound the same but are spelled differently. The first word is way, as in she looked his way when he waved to her. It's a direction word. That way is in the direction we think to spell w a. Spell way is in the direction out loud. W a y way. Please write and mark way in your notebook. The second definition for way is the weight of something, how heavy it is. This word we think to spell w a. There's a phonogram e i g h which says. A. It's an advanced phonogram. Kind of like the 
A is in eight, the four letter A. Wha A. Spell way as in wait out loud. W E I G H. Way. Please write and mark way in your notebook. The way we can remember that is wait just has a T on the end. It has the word way inside of it. That's all for week five. See you next time.